editing. Uh, editing video is a pretty straightforward process in most uh, current video editing software packages. Uh, for example, in Windows software you have what's called the Windows Movie Maker that comes as part of the operating system by default. Uh, in the Windows 7 operating system, they've actually updated that name. It's called the Windows Live Movie Maker now. It comes as part of the Windows Live package of software. Uh, basically, it's just been renamed. It's a little bit different than the older versions, though. If you're familiar with those, this will, this will look a little bit different to you. You want to add videos into Movie Maker to be able to put several clips together. Click on this Add Videos and Photos button we can go out and grab a couple videos. I'm just looking in the sample videos folder for now and I'm gonna grab several of those by using the shift button to click on the first one. I hold down the shift button, click on the last one and it highlights several of those files that are right in a row. So I can do the same thing using the control button and click just one at a time and select just the files that I want but uh, just a little keyboard shortcut there. So let's open up these files. You'll see that they open up in, in a, a timeline view over here on the right hand side and we've got a preview over on the left hand side. So if I click the button I can watch this. You'll see the slider, this little uh, uh, slider line showing you what part of the, of the video you're on. It's also showing you that basically you can control this on a frame by frame basis. Uh, videos are, are shot using frames. It's basically taking pictures very, very quickly. Um, most video capture currently occurs at about 30 frames per second. And in a video editing software, you can edit it at about that level. Notice I've got this uh, cranked up down here on my on my slider. I'm, I'm zoomed in just about as detailed as I can get. If I zoom this back out, it, it uh, basically zooms out and gives me a, a less detailed view of those of those images of those video files so now if I want to uh, do a little bit of editing uh, some of the more common tools that you use in a video editing software are editing tools for example I've got this trim tool here that allows me to take a certain clip and only use portions of it so if I trim that down I can trim from the back I can trim from the front and then play that and say that's the only clip that I want to use out of this segment. I can trim it down and uh, get rid of the junk that's on the end and get rid of the junk that's at the beginning and just focus in on the pieces that I want. So you'll notice when I did that, move the slider down here, uh, the numbers up top changed. So I'll go back into that. Shows me that my start point is now 3.04 seconds, end point 5.11 seconds. So if I'm happy with that, I can save my trim, and it shortened this video up here in the timeline. Uh, you can also use what are called splits. Say, for example, if I want to use uh, just certain portions, or if I want to split out something in the middle, I can clip that. I can create two separate clips out of that, and then be able to trim from the beginning and the end. This allows me to trim out stuff in the middle that I don't like. Uh, so the split tool and the trim tool are probably the two most common you'll use that way. Other other most commonly used portions uh, or tools within Movie Maker are things like animations. Animations allow you to create uh, transition effects between clips. For example, let me see if I can find one here that's a little more nature-like. Well, here's one that looks like a page turning. You notice it gives me a preview of each of these. As I mouse over them, it'll show me a preview down here in the window of what they're going to look like. So we'll apply the page turn there. And if I cue my video up about a few seconds earlier, we can watch that happen. Watch that page turn. Makes for a nice transition effect. So animations are great. Uh, they add, add a lot of spice to your video, especially when you're putting several clips together. Some of the other more common tools you'd use would be like the title sequence here, the credits. This allows you to add short, short segments either in front of all these video clips or just right over the top of them. For example, if I want to add a title here, I can say uh, Bears to Butterflies. And that added, you'll notice that added a sequence in between the two clips. 
So now I've got basically kind of a sub subtitle that goes in between the two clips. You can move that around. You can also set these to overlay on top of the video so it doesn't have to add in the extra black screen in between. You can just put titles and, and uh, credits right over the top and text right over the top of the clip. Uh, you can add in music. A lot of things you can do with, with Windows Movie Maker. Just want to give you a flavor for that and uh, understand some of the, the tools that are available. Uh, with that, that probably gives you enough information to be extremely dangerous in putting video together. Uh, just those basics, uh, understanding those basics are extremely powerful and allow you to do quite a bit uh, that you may not have been able to do before with video. So. Thank you, and we'll also talk to you about uh, the Apple iMovie software. Give you a little bit different take on that, but it's pretty similar. Uh, stay tuned.